Who are we? A, a city of pioneers that opens and shares, as it has always done. This tradition drives us to take up the challenges of the future. Yes, Grenoble is a city of water. It was thanks to the Isère and the Drac rivers that trade developed here. Grenoble is also a city that developed with successive floods. A city that developed by protecting itself from the whims of the two rivers that border it. Today, Grenoble has made its peace with water. Thanks to its water resources, Grenoble was the first city in France to develop its industry, grow and prosper using the, an unlimited, non-polluting, renewable energy. And this was at a time when the whole world was making the switch to oil in the late 19th century, well before everyone was becoming concerned about sustainable development. With four universities, two global competitiveness clusters, 60,000 students and 10,000 researchers, Grenoble is at the forefront of science and knowledge, especially in the fields of climate science and biotechnology. From the time of white coal through to today, one of the strengths of the region is that it has been able to draw together the worlds of academia, business and science into a fruitful synergy. This is also one of the factors that prompted Forbes to rank Grenoble as the fifth most innovative city in the world. Today, the people of Grenoble have always been a bit more rebellious than people elsewhere. The French Revolution began in the Grenoble region, which refused to relinquish its local power in favor of the king. In 1941, well before the Nazi had become definitely defeated, the young and not so young people of Grenoble and all nationalities joined the resistance movement to fight the oppressor in the city or a short distance away in the Vercors, which has become a symbol of the resistance. Today, our region is still a city of justice, a city that stands up for human dignity. Grenoble is a city with a big heart that extends a welcoming hand. Currently, Grenoble is home to 80,000 people who have immigrated here. It is a fruit of a long history offering refuge at the crossroads of European history. Grenoble has always stood by those fleeing repression and political violence. Hospitality and solidarity, but also dialogue and mutual uh, enrichment. The tradition is still arrive today and our region hosts over 10,000 foreign students. Grenoble is by nature an open land, open to others, open to differences, open to Europe and uh, the world. In 2018, Grenoble created a network of host cities and region known as Anvita and alongside Palermo and Sfax. It was scoped for European project Migration City to City. Grenoble has always been a trailblazer when it comes to civil rights and the challenges facing society and its citizens. The city was home to the first workers' mutual society since a progressive society cannot accept poverty. The first health centers and the first municipal action group before anyone had heard of participatory democracy. Today, Grenoble continues to pursue the endeavor to invent a new way of living together. It is determined to drive local democracy with the help of independent citizen councils with the capacity to initiate collective projects, a participatory budget of over 1 million euros, citizen voting and the establishment of a citizen's climate convention. This is a subject that Grenoble represents prominently on the international stage along with Valencia and Mexico. As a member of the International Observatory in Participatory Democracy, it will host the Global Summit on Participatory Democracy in 2022. Over the past century, the Grenoble region has demonstrated its ability to organize major global events and displayed its capacity as a host city and change driver. In 1925, over one million visitors from all over the world came to visit the International Expo on White Coal and Tourism, sealing Grenoble's reputation as the capital of hydroelectric power. Fifty years later, in 1968, 
the Winter Olympics promoted Grenoble as host city to radically upgrade the city with infrastructure and public facilities that are still used today by the people of Grenoble. Today, with the biennial of citizen transition, Grenoble is positioning itself as a change driver. Over eight days, it hosts a gathering of scientists, artists, business stakeholders, committed citizens and decision makers who put Grenoble at the forefront of change. In 2019, 55 international delegations representing countries from all over the world, including the cities of Guadalajara and Essen, exchanged ideas and gave rise to a network of cities in transition. Also in 2019, we hosted several nationalities competing in the Women's World Cup football matches with record attendance figures. Each era has been marked by a major event. Because Grenoble has a capacity of innovation, because it is open and because it lies at the crossroad of Europe, it is a land with a proven culture of landmark events. The general consensus among climatologists is that we have around 10 years to make the transition and many of the climatologists are from Grenoble. I have a little village in St. Paul de Vars, in the south of Grenoble, and for 10 years I've been doing parapente, I've already seen plein of effects of this reshuffling climate. Yes! Il y a une dizaine d'années, on pouvait voir des glaciers en Beldon qui étaient vraiment couverts de neige et qui avaient bonne mine. Maintenant, de plus en plus, on voit que les glaciers commencent à disparaître et dans quelques années, on n'aura plus du tout de glaciers en Beldon. Je ne sais pas si vous entendez, mais on entend aussi des cigales aujourd'hui. Il y a dix ans auparavant, on n'entendait pas du tout de cigales. Ça montre bien qu'il y a des espèces qui sont, à cause du réchauffement climatique, obligées de changer d'habitat naturel. Ici, à Grenoble, on est les sentinelles du climat. Et cela nous donne un devoir, celui d'agir, d'agir vite. Ah, il y a des chamois juste ici. Voilà, il y a aussi à Grenoble une biodiversité qui est incroyable. On a une nature qui est très forte et ça, ça donne envie encore plus de s'investir pour trouver des solutions. J'espère que Grenoble deviendra capitale verte, car ce serait un signal fort qui nous pousserait nous, citoyens, entreprises, institutions, à agir encore plus vite. In Grenoble, and I think this is a genuine particularity of our region, we are tackling the 360 degree transition in a truly systemic approach. We are guiding and supporting change for all and for every individual. The environment, naturally, but also our policy for children, for economy, participatory democracy and social justice are all levers that help make a region fairer, stronger and, in a word, more resilient. A resilient city is one where local democracy is alive and well. A resilient city is an area where people live and where the local business fabric is supported and prompted to adjust so that it more effectively meets local needs today and tomorrow. A resilient city is a community that takes care of its more fragile members, helps children grow and develop, and where everyone can play an active part in their health. Lastly, a resilient city is a place where sharing, equality, social justice, and combat against all forms of discrimination underpin all public policies. The most important guarantee we can offer our fellow citizens is freedom from the fear of being poisoned by what we eat, what we drink, or the air we breathe, and to know where we can eat and drink comes from. A low emission zone from which the most polluting vehicles are banned was established in 2019. It is the largest such zone in France. This low emission zone will progressively exclude polluting vehicles based on their criteria pollution classification and finally eliminate diesel vehicles from Grenoble by 2025. We have also added air quality health criteria to construction contrasts for future public facilities. Air quality is not the only factor involved in protecting our health. We also need to look at what is in our plates. 
what we have already booked in menus that are 60% organic in all municipal canteens, a major step towards looking in food quality and locally sourced products. This initiative was rewarded with a 2019 prize for rebel canteens. We are still working towards our ultimate goal of 100% organic, locally sourced food in all of Grenoble's school canteens. The city of Grenoble has therefore set itself the goal of supporting food self-sufficiency projects and developing urban farming. This is why we now have 1.4 hectares horticultural center that produce two tons of vegetables per year for the people of Grenoble. This is also why we take part of an inter-regional food project to protect local agricultural land, develop local food supply channels, and encourage change in food related and professional practices. From urban farming to air quality, here again, we have been working through European and extra-European networks for some years now. We have taken inspiration from Pontevedra, from Copenhagen, from Totnes, from Montreal. Second line of action, the commons. The first commons is life, living organism. You are no doubt already aware that one million of the currently existing eight million species are threatened by extension in the next few decades. This is why we must act, and we are acting at local level. We banned pesticides back in 2005, more than 15 years before it became an issue for public debate. We work all year round in cooperation with the natural reserves in the mountain around us, uh, the Bercor, uh, Beldon, the Chartreuse, where we are now. We can then draw on this knowledge to take practical initiatives such as creating biodiversity corridors and natural habitat zones for nocturnal birds and animals throughout the city. The second comment is, of course, water. Back in the 1990s, we decided to bring Grenoble water supply back under municipal control, and we were the first to do so in France. Today, every inhabitant is entitled to pure, untreated public water the price of which is debate, debated every year with the user's committee. The third comment is energy. We are lucky enough to have major public energy utilities in our region that we want to be involved in the energy transition. They include two local public utilities that manage the district heating networks and the gas and electricity networks. The district heating network is fueled by 72% of renewable energy and aims to achieve 100% by 2030. In two years, our local energy company, GEG, will generate enough renewable energy to provide the electricity consumption for the entire population of Grenoble. This means that Grenoble will be the first French city to be able to do without nuclear or fossil energy. We will develop organic natural gas for vehicles in Grenoble. This biogas is a product of sludge methanization and currently fuels part of public transportation network and the district heating network. These are also the objectives pursued by the Franco-German tandem we formed with Essen as part of the tandem project or European citizen projects with Amsterdam. And last but not least of our commons in our planet and the need to protect it as much as possible from climate warming. Let's go back to the delight now. Transition is also taking the lead in development and urban planning. Grenoble is a city in the grip of constant change. Also, it is entirely urbanized. There is a considerable pressure on property there, and yet, we choose to gradually rebuild a different city on top of the original one. To make it more pleasant, more open, fairer, and especially more sustainable. In 2005, Grenoble embarked in rehabilitation of the De Bonne district. The former barracks, uh, set on over eight hectares, right in the center of the city, were turned into France's first eco-district and became a subject for shared experience among European cities as part of the Concerto project. 
Grenoble played a pioneering role here by working on achieving both mixed-use development and social diversity and by setting very high energy efficiency standards. Today, with Flaubert Eco District, we are going even further. The entire project has been designed and built with extensive community participation, drawing on inputs on, from local residents, local stakeholders, and students from the School of Architecture to feed into project construction process at every step. An issue of tactical and transitional town planning or effort to combat its highlands, we are working with Bucaramanga in Colombia and Guadalajara in Mexico, as well as Amsterdam and Essen. It was one of the topics of the Eurocity Cooperation Platform, which we were supposed to host here in May 2020. But over and above the Eco District, our approach is underpinned by the whole philosophy of a sustainable city that recreates an organic link with nature. This is why we have launched a plan to plant trees and gardens in the streets and school. We intend to plant 50,000 trees by 2030 and we will remove the asphalt from Grenoble's streets and squares, including in front and in the playgrounds of the 120 schools and day nursery. As we have seen, the Grenoble region has already embarked in its transition, probably with a few years' head start on other regions. The main challenge now is to expand these developments to achieve a critical threshold. Mobility is a case in point. Grenoble has always led the field when it comes to mobility. In 1986, for example, it boosted France's first modern tramway. It also ran the world's first disabled accessible tramway. More recently, Grenoble won the prize of the most cycle-friendly city in France. Today, we need to innovate to clear away the last hurdles and encourage a shift from the currently mindset. But first, we need to think on the right scale to meet the population's mobility requirement and ease the adaptation on new forms of transport the Grenoble region set up the SMAG Transport Authority, which manages all forms of mobility for the entire city is nearly 700,000 inhabitants. The second line of action is to think mobility as a service. Mobility takes a multitude of forms today and people mix and match their mode of transport to suit their requirements. We have therefore brought in an all-inclusive service-based approach where a single mobility brand takes users seamlessly from beginning to the end of the journey. Next, cycling. Grenoble is the French capital of cycling in 2020. As mentioned earlier, Grenoble is the flattest city in France, has good infrastructure and is eminently suitable for cycling. Even so, the bicycling is still used mainly for short distances. Today, we have a dense and efficient network that provides good coverage of the area, but it needs to innovate to meet travelers' needs. Accordingly, we will be starting up a cable car service in 2023, one of the first in France. It will service an extremely dense area, the peninsula, while connecting from three tramway lines. Grenoble is a step ahead of the field. It always has been. It is a trademark. Here we work together and we are pioneers. Grenoble knows where it is going and is fully involved in the transitions. In this respect, we would like to thank the panel of European experts who evaluated the technical application for the recognition of our local initiatives, which has enabled us to be in the finals today. We are committing to blazing new trails and ready to share the inspirations for 2022. Through my voice and that of the people accompanying me, company managers, scientists, elected representatives, and journalists, a whole region is backing Renoble as a contender for the European Green Capital Award. Today, each one of them, whether global companies or innovative SMEs, Cultural ambassadors, associations, sports people, scientists, young and old, 
each one of them is waiting for this opportunity to further accelerate the transitions underway in Grenoble and in the earth of the Alps. It is an opportunity for this pioneering region, which has led to the way in many areas because we want to remain at the forefront of progress so we can adapt and offer a city that is resilient, open, pleasant to live and respectful of living organisms. It is also a tremendous opportunity for us to share, to share the knowledge, share the actions to, with our citizens, share our aspiration with the earlier green capitals that are already committed to the cause, or with other European cities that are keen to embark on the road to transition. The flagship ideas for Green Capital Year are to refocus our action on the city's citizen and to co-construct our green capital with them. We know that the objectives we pursue are shared by others and we want to be the spokespeople for all of these voices in 2022. the Grünen. Grenoble wird 2022 100% erneuerbaren Strom haben. Das ist fantastisch. Deswegen drücke ich alle Daumen, dass Grenoble grüne Hauptstadt 2022 in Europa wird. Je suis Grenoble 22, capitale verte européenne. Ouagadou et moi, nous sommes Grenoble, capitale verte européenne. I am Grenoble 2022, European Green Capital. I'm Grenoble 2022, European Green Capital. Aujourd'hui, joignons notre voix à celle des autres villes qui soutiennent la ville de Grenoble pour qu'en 2022, les Alpes tout entières bénéficient du label Capitale Verte Européenne. Je suis Grenoble 2022, Capitale Verte Européenne. Laboratoire de démocratie participative, écologique et sociale, je suis Grenoble 2022, Capitale Verte Européenne. Je suis Grenoble 2022, capitale verte européenne. Grenoble has a strong involvement in the green transition. It's giving the youth an example to follow. It also gives us strength and hope to build the future in the greener way. Grenoble represents itself as the idea of transition on so many points. Everybody should live the experience that is Grenoble. Because yes, Grenoble is a whole experience that gives everything you need to be an empowered person on every aspect of your life. The key focus of our program is based on reinventing the closest and most urban mountain, the Bastille, or the Alps on our doorstep. The Bastille is a totem for the whole region. Everyone who lives in the area sees it, knows it, climbs it. Every foreign visitor goes up to this peak for the view over the city. We propose to open up the Bastille to everyone and use this vast space for learning new things, trying out new things, meeting new people, and to transform it into a totem of the European Green Capital or Green Capital Year which is based on sharing with the cities of Europe, can also play out locally. The program, which is designed to both inspiring and educational, will cover the 12 terms of the Green Capital Year in its hands-on workshops that vary throughout the year. Four urban projects are under consideration or in progress at the Bastille. The 2022 program will either lead into or be adapted to these projects. In this respect, the European Green Capital Initiative is an accelerator for urban change for us. We have a totem, a unique striking place that all year round will draw large numbers of local people and visitors alike. But we believe that being European Green Capital also means going out to interact with the population where they are, this is why we propose to set up a caravan of inspirations. For one year, this caravan will travel all over the greater Grenoble area, on the plains and mountains, to present the program on the theme of transition everywhere we go, at every local festivity and every event. A number of collective highlight events are planned to make the Green Capital Year a festive one 
and create lasting memories in the population's enthusiasm and support. Grenoble and its citizens already organize events that draw thousands of people every year, such as the Fête des Tuiles, Cabaret Frappé, Ete au Parc, Grenoble Street Art Festival, Festival du Film Nature Environnement, Fête du Vélo, Rencontre du Cinéma de Montagne, Festival Alimentaire, Fête de la Science, COP2 uh, étudiante, and I'm sure I've forgotten to mention some of them. All this vitality, variety and abundance will have to be channeled into the European Green Capital Initiative. But we will also organize events that are entirely dedicated to the European Green Capital. For the opening ceremony, we have planned a grand parade to launch the Green Capital Year. The Grand Parade will be a participatory event featuring the region's cultural stakeholders and including citizens and associations. The Intergovernmental Panel on Climate Change and all scientists have played a crucial role in raising awareness of the global environmental issues. Grenoble is a city of academic study and science and is keen to further strengthen these ties at a local level in 2022 by establishing a multidisciplinary scientific committee that will include environmental and social science. The committee will ensure that the message issued are scientifically accurate. It will also take part of a large number of scientific extension initiatives designed to help European citizens on board the environmental issues. It was only natural for us to want to be involved in Grenoble's application. The Scientific Council is currently composed of around 30 researchers and has already convened in 2019 and 2020. It aims to share and disseminate knowledge to a broad public, but also to create the conditions in which public decision makers, science and society will be able to question and challenge each other. Beginning this autumn, every month, we will be organizing a scientific event that is open to everyone. Researchers will be eager to share their knowledge on environment issues at every opportunity, in the form of symposiums, debates, informal discussions on international reports, such as the IPCC report, or exhibitions and video projections. In the longer term, the Scientific Council for the Grenoble Region's ecological and solidarity-driven transition, an effective interface between academia and local citizens, will continue to work on these connections. We also want to make culture a focal point of our green capital approach it will have to infuse and transcend our entire program for 2022. The city of Grenoble is equipped with an outstanding number of artistic and cultural infrastructures. Many of them are standard setters for their unique features and their creativity at local, national and international levels. They are ready to get involved and to give the European Green Capital Year pride of a place in their programs. For many years, they have adopted environmental aesthetic and embraced ecological art. These establishments and the artists that frequent them are inventing new forms of gathering and hospitality with the public. The drive to make public space aesthetically appealing, the convergence of the population knowledge and the awareness is yielding a participatory, contributory art that enables everyone to come to grips with art and culture. The prisms of individual and collective well-being and fulfillment are the drivers behind Grenoble's artistic and cultural output. Grenoble's mountain setting, cultural diversity, scientific culture, test for innovation, hybridization, and attention to inclusive practices will underpin the culture events to come. The city of Grenoble's artistic and cultural output is full of initiatives that are in the line with a sustainable mindset. Obtaining the European Green Capital label would be a tremendous sign of recognition and appreciation of this cultural commitment to responsible cultural productions and would clearly promote and without a doubt extend our European collaborations. Kaunas, our twin city, 
will be European capital of culture in 2022. If we are the green capital, there will be more frequent exchange between our two cities as we pull exhibitions, artist exchange programs and twin events. The sharing and mutual inspiration between the capital of culture and the green capital will amplify the prestige and influence of European policies. Grenoble is assuming its role of a major move to accelerate transitions. Grenoble is a firm believer that the cities of Europe can bring about change together and is already actively involved in many European and international networks. Grenoble will leverage its Europe Direct Information Centre due to open in Chambéry and in other towns in the French Alps. In 2021, it has scheduled a webinar on the Green Park. In 2022, it will be able to draw on the solid network of European Direct Information Centres throughout Europe to boost the impact of the Green Capitals initiatives. All of our partners are ready to work with us towards making 2022 a resolutively European space for sharing our ambitions, achievements and difficulties. The governance of Grenoble 2022 relies on a number of bodies to represent the scientific community, the local business fabric and citizens. These stakeholders will be involved to shine a spotlight on the Green Capital Year 2022 and enable Grenoble to speed up the transitions. The scientists are already organized into a scientific council. A citizen's convention will be set up and given its first assignment in 2021, namely to think about the world after, using Bruno Latour's method. Their suggestions as to what they would like to keep and what they would like to change will feed into the discussion of the European Green Capital 2022. Some 30 local business gathered for an initial working party in 2019 and in a Green Capital Businesses Club is going to be set up. What about you? Uh, how do you propose to help the city transition to a greener future? I think in Grenoble, we are very lucky because our companies, big or small ones, have a ecological sensibility and we gather here all the technologies to win the translation to a free carbon economy. More than two million takeaway meals are ordered each day in France. This leads to tons of single-use takeout trash. The back of scene, builds a network of restaurants committed for a zero-waste territory. Together, we provide reusable containers to grown-up citizens. Vika strives to produce locally. We produce low-carbon process, low-carbon products, 10,000 low-carbon-minded employees trained in Ecologica. Grenoble is the center of this move. We have to be inside to do economy circular. The European Green Capital, as we understand it, is not just a vertical organization in which Grenoble is its partner, would organize a set of events. It is also a war inclusive region that sets about inventing a rich, varied, surprising program that gets people thinking about the cities of tomorrow. Everyone, associations, architects, scientists, the world of culture and business, will be called on to play a part in this special year. The entire year 2021 will therefore be spent converting this energy into action, mainly through a vast call for projects in which all of the region's movers and shakers will be able to offer to get involved in the Green Capital Year. We will rely on our leaders in particular it has committed associations and local residents who will have skills, exemplary practice, know-how and ideas. We will also rely on residents' home close to the public through a regular program to maximize awareness of this issue and climate warning and the loss of biodiversity. Lastly, we will work with educational establishments from preschool up to university level in partnership with the French Education Authority to share learning tools and systematize 
the education authorities prioritization of these teams. There is no shortage of creativity here. Here, in no particular order, are a few ideas that we would like to put into the practices thanks to the European Green Capital title. Displays, lectures, live shows, workshops, all forms of contribution will be featured in a spirit of variety, diversity and especially sharing. We will also keep the range of topics broad to represent the various facets of what the green capital means to us. Sustainable development and resilience, citizen involvement in local democracy, from urban weaknesses to regional and migratory regulations, from the Anthropocene to ecocides, a wide range of topics will be covered in a system-based approach. By factoring in all of these watchwords, we hope to develop an ambitious and comprehensive program. This program, enthusiasm and energy will not be sufficient if we don't work very productively on communicating about the European Green Capital 2022. With Grenoble Green Capital 2022, we want to create a fully-fledged brand that will amplify our communication for the region, of course, but also for European Green Capital. This brand already exists and is gaining ground and visibility among the people of Grenoble. It's also gaining traction in our national and international community, as you were able to see for yourself through the events organized last summer. All of the partners, local authorities, associations, the business community and the scientific community are now committed to supporting the brand and bringing it to a broader audience. From November 2020 and throughout 2021 and 2022, we are going to bring the brand to life and then develop and expand it into a striking symbol of what the region is in transition can look like. We will strive to work on two scales. On one hand, a very locally based, inclusive, participatory and personalized communication in which each of the region's inhabitants will feel included and informed and will be able to develop their program and evolve with the overall programming. This will involve widespread use of social media and the creation of a dedicated website that in 2021 will serve as a participatory platform for drawing up the program. On the other end, we will set up a border-based communication that will echo the green capital level at national and international level. To do so, we will work with well-known ambassadors of our region from the worlds of science, culture, business and sport. We will build the green capitals renowned in the media and on the social networks. This year, 2021, will be a time for ratcheting up the program and anchoring its notoriety in order to secure strong support and involvement on the part of all of Grenoble's people through inclusion and co-constructions, powered by a call for projects. It will also be a time for teasing, generating interest and curiosity, bringing Grenoble 2022 into the spotlight through targeted work with the national and European press. The year 2022 will be devoted to showcasing the program, enlisting support and publishing enriched content. We will also rely on a dedicated website shared by all of the partners, a powerful base for drawing the public and the regions to the transition. Because an event such as a European Green Capital needs to resonate well beyond the regional borders, and because we have no visibility whatsoever on the duration of the health-related restrictions, we plan to take all of our events digital. Each lecture or symposium will be published live with a system of webinar that lets online users interact. The foundation of its communication has already been laid. From November 2020, we will be ready to roll out this strategy. <laughs>